Welcome to TC Kids. Hey, I'm Monica, and I'm so glad that you are here with us today. All right, let's spin the wheel to see what game we're playing today. Ready? Go. All right, um, John, John. Okay, so we've gone um, from, excuse me, first you were Captain America. Then you were um, you were an elf. You were like Buddy the Elf, yeah, with the whole word. Now we got a fireman thing going. All right, I like it. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, perfect. Today's game is called Catapult. Now in this game, our contestant is going to rest a chopstick on a dice and place a cup facing it up on the other end of the chopstick. This, this sounds confusing. Okay, next, he's gonna tap the chopstick to catapult the cup so it stands up on the other end. This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> All right, I believe in you though. Um, you have six attempts. All right, six attempts. Don't start yet, six attempts. Um, and if you take longer than 30 seconds, we're just gonna have to move it along. All right, here we go. You ready? And begin. Now, while he is playing this uh, ridiculous catapulting game, I wanna say welcome to all of our VIPs. That's right, it's our very important persons. <laughs> if it's your first time here, wait till after the experience to click on the link below because we wanna get to know you, find out where you're from, all the great stuff. We can't wait to be friends with you. Hey, did you know that kids are watching today from all around the world? It's true. We want to say hey to TC Nation Kids. We're so glad that you're here. Now, you know that you're going to need three things for today's experience. A Bible, a pen, paper. Uh, I think you're at the end of your 30 seconds, by the way. Uh, you, you, one more try. One more try. Um, Bible, pen, paper. Make sure you've got those. We're going to need them in a little bit. Um, okay, we're going to call it. All right, it's time to get up on your feet and make some noise. TC Kids, let's get started. Come on, get up on your feet and let's worship. There you go. Get loose. You're pulling me closer to you. There's more to discover. Hey. Your heart is the deepest ocean. And jump. There's life in the water. There you go. Jump. I jump into your freedom in the free fall. You take control. Hey. Jump. Okay. When I surrender to you, I'm alive. In Jesus, you Whip. Oh. make me new. And if you rules are given, so can I. So, so can I. Freestyle. Hey, let me see those moves. Let's jump. Next time. Come on. I jump into your Ooh. in the free fall. If I'm a soul and you There's that nay nay. Come on. When I surrender to hey. you, Jesus you. you yeah. Great job. of our series about being content. 
When you are content, it means that you are learning to be okay with what you have. That takes time. That takes discipline. The good news is that God doesn't leave us alone in doing this. He is always with us to help us out. Our bottom line this week says don't miss out on what you have now. You see, everything that we have comes from God. He is faithful to provide exactly what we need. And even more than what we own, God can also provide us with what we need to face whatever may happen in our lives. God has proven time and again that we can trust Him no matter what. We can complain or we can become jealous of what others may have, or we can choose to respond with contentment knowing that God has a plan for our lives. Remember our bottom line, don't miss out on what you have now. Are you ready to play a game? Let's go! Everybody, on your feet, because it's time to play Will It Crush? Today's challenge will be for you to decide if Tiny, our five-ton African bush elephant, will crush the item on the screen. Here are the rules. I'll show you one item. If you think Tiny will crush it, give me two thumbs up. But if you think the item is too tough for Tiny to crush, then give me two thumbs down. If you're wrong, take a seat. But if you get it right, stay standing. Everybody got it? All right, let's play Will It Crush? The first item is a soda can. Will Tiny crush it? Remember, two thumbs up if you think Tiny will crush it, and two thumbs down if you don't. Time's up. Let's see what happens. Totally crushed. Well, that was uh, awesome. The next item is a car. Will Tiny crush it? A car is a lot bigger than a soda can. What do you think will happen? Time's up. Let's see what Tiny will do. Whoa, totally crushed again. All right, the next item is a uh, mouse. Wait, are we sure this is right? Uh, okay, will Tiny crush it? Time's up. Let's see what Tiny will do. Uh, look away, kids. <laughs> wow, so Tiny is terrified of mice. Totally not crushed. The next item is a marshmallow. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Will Tiny crush it? Time's up! Let's see what Tiny will do. The marshmallow is invincible. Totally not crushed! Next up, it looks like we have a fancy dinner plate. Will Tiny crush it? Time's up! Let's see what Tiny will do. Totally crushed! Well, that was an epic crush. This is our last item. It's a bottle of ketchup. What do you think? Will Tiny crush it? Let's see what Tiny will do. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Totally crushed again! Well, that's all for today. Thanks for playing. Will it crush?
What is going on, TC Kids? Listen, for the past two months, we've been talking about crazy faith. And I shared some personal stories about my cousin and the video game that I was believing God for. And I've also told you that faith starts out as a very, very small seed. Now, I've got some friends that are going to share their stories about crazy faith. Take a look. Hello, TC Kids. What I'm believing in crazy fate is to take my little sister to Disney World next year to celebrate her, her high school graduation. Yeah. Hi, TC Kids. I have crazy faith that I will be able to write a book in the year 2022. What's up, everyone? Let's walk on water. We're about to have fun, so get on up. I'd rather slip walking on water Again. Hey. One more time. Throw some arms in there. Hey, hey. There you go. Kick. Slide. A kick. Is how you walk, how you walk there you go. One foot in front of Just one foot. Never gonna let you go under. Just put one foot in front of There the you other. go. Okay. Oh, I love those moves. Hey, hey. I got a faith deeper than feeling. There you go. No one name is greater than this one. I got a die. Hey, hey, me. He's close enough to catch me. Hey, fly. I can make kick with me. Cause it was your voice that I heard. So I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out on your word. Let's walk on water. This is how you walk, how you walk on water. One foot. Come on. There it is. We're walking on water. Hey, hey. Pick it up. Hey. Yes. Come on. Just one foot. Hey. I'm stepping, I'm stepping Step. out on your word. I'm stepping, I'm, I'm stepping, stepping out. out on your word. Are you stepping, I'm stepping out? I'm stepping there you go. Step. I'm stepping, step. I'm stepping step. out. Step. 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 Hey, I'm hey. I'm Wait. I'm in the, I'm the water. Out. Hey. Come on. There you go. Hey. Now walk it out. Hey. Step it out. Hey. There it is. I see you one more time. Come on. There it is. Hey, hey, hey. We're not gonna stop. I see you walking on water. Great job. Great job. Hey, hey. Walking on water. There you go. There you go. Dance with us.
Today's Bible lesson comes from the book of Exodus, which happens to be the second book of the Bible. God's chosen people, the Israelites, had gotten confused and were missing out on God's blessings. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Exodus, chapters 16 and 17. The Israelites had lived as slaves in Egypt for hundreds of years, but God worked miraculous signs and parted the waters of the Red Sea to lead them to freedom. Sing to the Lord, he is God's people were free, but it didn't take long for all that singing and celebrating to turn into whining. The Israelites complained to their leader, Moses. You must want all of us to die of hunger out here. Yeah, we had it good in Egypt, all the food we wanted. You do remember you were slaves, right? But we had so much meat we could barbecue every day. The people continued to grumble, so Moses took their complaints to the Lord. The people don't trust you to give them food. I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people must go out each day. Have them gather enough bread for that day. Moses and Aaron called the people of Israel together to share God's words. Come to the Lord. He has heard you speak against him. As Aaron spoke, the glory of the Lord appeared as a cloud in the desert. Once again, God spoke to Moses. Tell the people, when the sun goes down, you will eat meat. In the morning, you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Moses and Aaron told the people everything that God had said. In the evening, you will know that the Lord brought you out of Egypt. And in the morning, you will see the glory of the Lord. He will give you meat to eat in the evening. He'll give you all the bread you want in the morning. Ha! Seeing is believing. Then you should probably look over there. Whoa. A large flock of quail, more birds than anyone had ever seen, settled upon the camp like a twittering, fluttering ocean. Quail barbecue for dinner! That evening, everybody in the camp ate their fill. And in the morning, heavy dew settled on the ground. And as it dried, it left something behind. What's this? Looks like snow. Like what? The stuff that falls on mountaintops. Flaky, white, tastes like honey. This is manna. It's the bread the Lord has given you to eat. Gather only as much as you need for the day. What about tomorrow? Don't keep any of it until morning. God will give us what we need then. The Israelites gathered up the manna, sharing until each family had enough. Manna cakes, manna pudding, manna tostadas. Manna and quail pizza. Some people disobeyed God and tried to keep leftovers until the next day. Ew. But any manna kept overnight filled with maggots. Ugh. As long as the Israelites stayed in the desert, the Lord provided fresh manna for them to eat every single morning. Time to move camp. The Israelites soon moved to their next camp in Rephidim, and although manna was plentiful, fresh water was not. Seriously, I am so parched. Even though God had worked miracle upon miracle and provided food from nowhere, the Israelites still panicked. They turned on Moses once again. Give us water to drink right now. Why are you arguing with me? Don't you trust the Lord? Why did you lead us out of Egypt? At least we had water there. Now we're all going to die of thirst. The Israelites were so angry, they actually picked up stones to throw at Moses. Frustrated, Moses cried out to the Lord. Well, what am I going to do with these people? They're ready to kill me. Go out in front of the people. Take the walking stick you used when you struck the Nile River. I will stand there in front of you by the rock at Mount Horeb. Hit the rock, then water will come out of it. 
Thank you, Lord. Moses called the leaders and the people of Israel together. Come up with me to the rock at Mount Horeb. The huge rock overshadowed Moses as he walked beneath it, walking stick held high. Now see what God will do. Moses struck the rock. Immediately, God caused cold, clear water to gush from the rock, forming a rushing stream below. <gasps> Not bad. Yeah, I guess it beats Egypt for now. Over and over, God showed that he would care for his people, but still the Israelites were tempted to long for what they had before, in spite of their newfound freedom. Have you ever made Jesus the Lord of your life? Well, Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And it means simply this, that we all make mistakes and we need Jesus to be in our lives. So I wanna give you a chance. Actually, I wanna give you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. And you're simply just praying this prayer and meaning it in your heart. So I want you to bow your heads. Yep, close your eyes and repeat this after me. Dear God, I know I've sinned and messed up, Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sins. I ask you to forgive me and make me clean. I accept your love and grace for me and ask that you would be my Lord. Help me to put my trust in you and love you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you just prayed that prayer, I want to tell you something. We are so proud of you. You just asked Jesus to live inside your heart, and you are part of God's family. Now, we've got three really easy steps that I want you to pay attention to and make sure you do these throughout the week. One, I want you to tell someone that you prayed this prayer. Don't keep it to yourself. You just made the most important decision of your life. You gotta tell someone. So find someone in your house or at school, wherever, tell them that you just prayed the prayer. Number two, we want you to celebrate with us. So with an adult's help, I want you to click the link below this video to let us know that you just prayed this prayer. Finally, number three, you are now part of the TC Kids family. So be sure to keep hanging out with us each and every week as we learn more about God's word and have a lot of fun doing it. We love you and we'll see you next time. Hey, before we go, was it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means you're our VIP, very important person. Click the link below that says, I'm new to TC Kids. If you made the decision to follow Jesus and put him first in your life, we wanna celebrate with you. Click the I Choose Jesus link below to let us know. Okay, I gotta ask, have you been keeping up with all the fun on our new YouTube channel? We've got all new content dropping this week. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Hey, we'll see you next time, TC Kids.